wealthy, I am rich, I am that bitch. I am healthy, I am wealthy, I am rich, I am that bitch. I, I am gonna go get that bag, and I am not gonna take your shit. I am protected, well respected, I'm a queen, I'm a dream. I, I do what I wanna do, and I'm who I wanna be. I, I am me, bitch, that's why BT, yo man got his eye on me, but I need Hey, so me back again with another fucking video right now with Sakina. Hey y'all. She just did my hair. Stop moving. I gotta give him a. You got, you got some money. You wanna dance? But we're about to go grab something to eat. It is six thirty one. Six thirty one. I'm going to work or leaving here at ten. So yeah, but before we go, I gotta pack my dance bag still. I really need to go get some um, toiletries to put in my bag, like wipes and shit. So if I have time, we'll do that before we go. But yeah, I just wanted to say hey. Show y'all my hair. Where are my keys, bro? I'm home. I'm about to get in the shower. Y'all already know. Coconut oil is ready. I'm about to shave my fucking vagina. <laughs> and yeah, I got an hour to get ready. So I might end up doing my makeup there. But it's cool because I'm going to be getting there early. So I'm going to a lounge. I ain't never been here before, but my friend works there at the Bottle Girl. And on Saturday, they have dances. So I'm going to go dance today, Saturday night. But she was like, dancers usually don't get there until like 12. But I'm riding with her, and bottle girls have to get there at 10.30. So I'm going to have, like, two hours before the other dancers get there. But honestly, I'm about to be making my money before 12 if there's people in there. We'll see. But I'm excited. And I love my hair. So I pushed my top edge back because I felt like it was just too much. But, yeah, we're about to shave. I'll be using, or I've been using these. Still a five-blade razor. But this isn't the one that I typically use. But check this out. Y'all about to be so proud of me. I'm going to get a wax. Yeah, y'all done bullied me into it, bitch. But yeah, I'll see y'all when I get out the shower. I'm about to be real quick so that I can start on my makeup at least. Like, I want to do my eyebrows and stuff. If I need to do anything there, it'll be like my lashes and my lips. So I'm going to use a thin layer of this lotion. Just because I don't have a far drive this time. Well, actually, I just told y'all I'm going to have to sit for a minute. So I still can't use coconut oil. I don't even know if this club, like, has poles. Like, it's really not a strip club. But I'm going to just put it on, like, my top part. Of course, my pussy. But I'm not going to do my legs. Just in case there is poles. Get that bitch a good morning. Bitch, you know it be pouring. I really love my hair. I haven't had a ponytail in like over a year since I did the big chop. I would say two years, but I did a ponytail with my hair. Like my little ponytail was this big. I would just put it in the middle and then slick up the rest of my short ass hair. <gasps> if you know, you know, bitch. All right, I'm gonna put this on my legs. It's the same scent as my perfume that I use. Do a thin layer. Really, I need to be lotioning up here because my thigh boots cover all that. I just dipped in the coconut oil. Use Dove. I tried Native's deodorant. I don't know if it's just me, but that non toxic deodorant. Bitch, that shit did not fucking work. Like, I literally just sweat it off quick as hell. That's my loud ass TV to add. Then I'm packing my Fame Skincare Glow Getter. It smells really good, but it makes me like shiny. And then I have Honey Pot Spray. I like to spray this like in my bottom. And this is also a non-toxic vegan product. I really need to hurry up and pack my bag. 
Cause she said she'll be here in 30 minutes, 15 minutes ago. I got like 10 minutes until she get here. So here's my dance bag. I'm so sad about this outfit. Like it does not fit at all. Um, I have pretty much everything in here besides my pole grip wipes. No need to pack that. I'm not gonna put on them shoes. Can't to leave these. Honey pot, sensitive wipes. It's made with water, water-based wipes. I really don't like them, but that's all I got right now. And then we need to get my makeup. This shit is fucking everywhere. Um, oh, one of my subscribers sent me her makeup and the packaging is really cute. I'll show y'all the palettes at work. Uh, I fucking hate this setting spray. I still really desperately fucking need y'all to let me know your makeup products in the comments, bitch. Lastly, we have to pay our house fee or tip out, they called it. Um, their tip out is literally fucking $200, bitch. So if I don't make this shit bag, just know. I just threw on this nude set from Fashion Nova. Super cute, super cute. Since I'm gonna be drinking tonight, I'm gonna go ahead and get my Powerade and you know, start prepping. I'm not gonna get drunk, but I am gonna be lit since <laughs> the vibe of this place, like on their Instagram, they look like they be lit as fuck, bitch. They got the hookah, everything. And since I don't have to drive, I can actually drink tonight. We're gonna take a bong hit before we leave. I really don't know how to hit a bong for real. Don't mind me. Now we're ready. The lighting is so terrible, <laughs> but I'm here now and y'all won't believe this shit. I should have got ready at home <laughs> because there's nowhere for me to get ready. Like there's no like back room, which I should have fucking known because I literally kept saying, it's not a strip club, it's a lounge. So common fucking sense. She said that in the office, I can sit my bag in there she gave me the full rundown. I've never worked at a club like this. She said, ain't no talking to the niggas, nothing. You really just gotta be in the right spot, turn up, and pick up your money as soon as they throw it in the air and make your little pal. But I'm about to attempt to do my makeup in the car. I had left my lashes at home, rushing and shit, but luckily she had an extra pair in her car. So yeah, I'll see y'all when I get inside. Oh, yeah. I need it tight because it's gonna keep moving. Because it was like, I was just trying to be in the moment, make my fucking money. But at the end of the night, I got a bag. Yeah, yeah. This is my money. I like it here, but it was only me and two other girls. And they like older girls. They teamed up on my ass, bitch. I'm like, hold the fuck up. But overall, it was a good night. You need the mirror? You need to no, Okay, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah.
I get my shoes, I probably your top. Guarantee when you guarantee this is they they gon' be caught. Thank you. And I'ma bring a broom and everything. So that's a people they can have to I've made it home. I warmed up my ramen. Sakina bought me what she had because she wanted me to try it. And this shit actually good as fuck. It's literally like 5.30. So after I eat this, I'm going to get in the shower. And then go to bed. But tonight was interesting. It was my first time ever working a club like that. <laughs> my whole two fucking years of dancing, I've never worked at a club like that. But I did good. So originally it was me and two other dancers. And like in the locker room, or not the locker room, bitch. <laughs> in the office, it's like an office kitchen. Like I don't know what the fuck that shit is, but bitch, why was we back there? But back there, they was talking to me and stuff. Was getting ready. One of them sell outfits. I bought one, the blue one that I wore tonight. Um, And then we went on the floor it was a lot of weird ass shit, bitch. Why the fuck did they team up on me? I'm like, relax. So, I'm going to count for money. Here's the bag. We are on the floor because I already know that this money is filthy. So I was trying to tell y'all about my night last night, but I ended up running out of storage. But as I was saying, that's gonna bother me. <laughs> as I was saying, it was originally me and two other girls and like they're old, like she was talking about how she was 51. And they were just talking about like their kids, how one of their daughters wanted to dance and stuff and they were trying not to get them in a row and just talking about getting stuck, you know, giving me some advice. So I'm thinking everything gonna be a cool, smooth night. Like it's not a lot of bitches, no drama. As soon as we got on the floor and like they saw the attention that I was getting from the customers being that I'm new and like, it's not a lot of clubs out here really. So the girls really just circulate at all of these fucking clubs. Like the niggas are tired of fucking seeing y'all. So of course, when they see somebody new that's young as hell, they're gonna give me attention. So the girls started teaming up on me. Um, and like marking their territory on the floor. So like I said, it's a club where niggas just throw money and you kind of like make your pals. They was trying to like make their pals in spots where they knew like the sections was gonna be and shit like that. But I stood my ground and I just stayed in a spot until the section did start throwing money so that I could start my pal there, even though they got their little pal. Um, so yeah, I stood my own ground. And then at like, I don't even know what time it was, but later in the night, me and these three girls, two girls already had started making money. Then there was another girl who came in. She was younger, um, and she, like, had people in there tipping her. So, it was a good night. It was money in the club, but the club wasn't packed out, like, how I be seeing on their Instagram. But I think this is going to be, like, my little Saturday spot, because I like it. The vibes was really good. I had so much fun. And as y'all see, I made some money, so I feel like it can only get better, like, the night don't either be how it was this weekend or better because it was pretty mellow in there. But yeah, I'm just gonna straighten up this money and then I'll come back. I have a few big bills. I know my first tip of the night was five. Yeah, that's a five, a 10, another five, another 20. So yeah, actually, we'll pick those out first. Twenty, come out, come out wherever you are. That's hard for me.
do y'all see how fucking dirty my floor is now? That is why I say this money is filthy money. But I've straightened it out. One of my dollar bills was broken. I haven't counted it yet, so I don't know how much it is. These are my big bills. Fives, got my 20. So yeah. The funniest part about them teaming up on me is that at the end of the night, when we was like, where they was counting the money that they had split, they was like, they said something about, oh, like it wasn't a, a, a pack night, but we still made money. And I was like, yeah, y'all has just tried to team up on me. And she was like, we just didn't know if you would want to work with us. We should have all worked together. First of all, bitch, it wasn't that y'all didn't know if I want to work with y'all. Y'all literally just came up with a grand scheme, scheme plan to team up. <laughs> and of course, y'all would have made more money with the bad bitch. You can't team up on the baddest bitch and then try to say that. Like, no, it doesn't work that way. Um, I really think I'ma just show y'all the money instead of counting it all out. But y'all can guess in the comments how much it is. And then whoever guesses the closest to the amount We'll get a prize. I'm gonna do a giveaway. But yeah, this is my money. Plus my big bills. So you can count, make your guess in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll be back again with another fucking video, you already know.